Hello, hi, I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel. My channel is about twin flames. Today's video, we're going to talk about Mercury retrograde. So let's kind of get into it here. If this is new to you, welcome. I hope that you get a lot of help from this video. What is a Mercury retrograde? Well, scientifically speaking, it is an optical illusion where the planet kind of goes back on its orbit and then moves forward again. However, energetically, a lot of people feel this and they feel like it blocks them. There's energies blocking them. There's certain things they shouldn't do. What I would say about any retrograde, it's a time to pause and reflect and maybe kind of retrace your steps a little bit. This one in particular is very personal and it has a lot to do with your personal physical body and your health, not just your light body, although you detect things through your light body. So what is some of the things that you can notice about a Mercury retrograde? Well, since about March 18th, we've been in what's called sort of a pre-shadow period. What that can mean is that some things seem kind of blocked like blocking you they're a little blocky they're a little murky you're not quite clear there's some miscommunications you're not sure if you should move forward on some things and mostly what kind of health things should you be addressing okay because it's not always about eating healthy we're in springtime this is going to have a lot to do with uh, food sensitivities allergies that kind of stuff what kind of things can you refrain from? What are you noticing in your own body? Okay, and I'll tell you why. So this can be, you know, in that time frame. Officially, it goes, you know, on April 1st, April Fool's Day. But odd but subtle indicators of how, how should I do this? And what should I do? The what to do is not always apparent, but but okay it's in what is going on with you are you having some health things that happens to be one of the things that are very near and dear to my heart i would love to have the new light body fix everyone but people need to participate so how do you know what to participate on it's in what's going on for you in that kind of pre-season or at the tail end of the last season you can't always go by the weather and be like, wow, the winds are very erratic. Those are trade winds. Those are winds that are always changing because the angle of the earth is changing. I mean, that has some science to it. The angle of the earth is changing. We're moving a little closer to the sun. We're getting a little more heat, a little more daylight, that kind of stuff. But what about in your own personal life? Okay, what's behind it all? Where should you focus? Well, first of all, if you can, sort of scan yourself. Notice what's happening. Are you sniffly? Does it seem in the upper part of your body? Does it seem in the lower part of your body? If it's the lower, is it your gut? Is it your nerves? You know, like what's going on with you? Look at these subtle indicators, okay? Because this energy is intended to help you notice and improve. That's what full moons are about, new moons are about, new moons are about growth, full moons are like to spotlight things. The retrograde is to get you to, hey, take heed of something that maybe now you can move forward and fix it, okay, or address it. Okay, what do you do though if you're not sure? Pause for three days, okay? This is a good thing and this is actually one of the principles on this journey pausing okay not rolling over and playing dead not being like oh i uh, you know i'm going to give it over to some deity and they'll do it for me no pause okay pump the brakes a little bit don't get upset be a little flexible be a little malleable be a little teachable and see what happens allow yourself three days allow don't buckle under allow Okay, allow, 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 try, allow, wait, okay, until it is, 
you know, proper guidance coming through. If you're not getting proper guidance on how it is, what to do, I will be able to help you. That's what we do. This is why we're here. This is our only gift that we are presenting so that we are here to help with the brand new light body and your journey for specifically for twin flames. So giving up doesn't mean that you're just going the solo. We know how to incorporate the energy of your twin flame to make things happen positively for you. Okay. So another thing, yes, the usual communication is key. Now this could be things like dropped calls. It could lead to misunderstandings. It can lead to miscommunications. You might hear something wrong. Somebody may say it wrong and then be like, oh my God, why did I say that or not realize that they said this? This is going to, you know what this is going to bring up? A lot of friction, a lot of interpersonal friction. Why? Because your interpersonal chakra that you've used in the old paradigm has been really irritated. It's like saying, who's been on your last nerve? Who is on mommy's left last nerve on the left side of her left, you know, what? So, you know, everyone isn't supposed to be latched on over there. How do you get the vampires off, the energy suckers off? How do you get everyone that's like trying to cling on or oppress you or depress you? How do you do that, right? We have ways. We have ways to do the heavy lifting so that this makes it as easy as possible for you. And allow and cut each other some slack. Cut other people some slack because that miscommunication is going to affect them too. They may get directions wrong. They, I mean, just, I mean, yesterday, this man in front of me, there he is. He's in a pickup truck, nice looking truck, but he kept pausing. And I'm like, is he okay? Is he going? Should I wait? And then he'd look at his phone. He didn't even realize someone was behind him. Should I get all like right and cause a scene? No, I very carefully kind of, you know, went, waved, and I was like, hey, I'm going around you, take your time, and all was well, okay? Can we cut each other some slack? This is really getting to be too much where people don't understand what, you know, that some things don't have to be a fight. Let's just put it that way. Some things don't have to be a fight. So just to mention, I am having a new workshop coming up for Twin Flames. It is Twin Flame specific. It is live. There are things that you can ask live. You get guidance. I bring my apothecary to make recommendations for supplements that will help you in this energy. And usually not just this cycle, but sometimes these cycles repeat. If this is new to you, Please be aware of something. I mean, pay attention to this that I'm going to say. The things that you go through, you can go through again in another cycle because it's like scraping something out. You scrape it out. You Okay, you get that first layer off, but maybe there's two more layers until you get to the bottom of the barrel. So it goes in cycles like that. It's not intended to deter you, discourage you, demoralize you. I know how to help you navigate this and thrive in it, okay? And not only that, get your good things going so that, you know, you're like, woohoo, in this retrograde, I get to do this or that. It's finally here. Finally, that door opened. Yes, that's going to be the case for a lot of people. So the retrograde should equal get some action on some things, especially your body, now, I'm going to say this. We all have lots of good intentions at the end of the year. Treat this as a new beginning. This should be new beginning energy. Why? Because it is another portal to get over the threshold. You may feel that. The very first time I felt some of that, what happened, I was at night and I was in a lucid state. And it was in this room that kept filling with water. But I wasn't panicked because what happened was, I was able to float and there was like a little opening that went to another level. It was a whole other level. And it was like one of those pole vaulters and I got myself up and over 
and I was in and I fell asleep immediately and I could feel it the next day. I'm like, this feels better. It feels lighter. It feels like I accomplished something. It feels like I went somewhere. I had crossed the threshold. Can you cross the threshold? Yes. Get action on some things. Your health, your physical health, time to address it from lifestyle, your relatives, and your ancestors. Okay, so for months I've been talking about ancestral things. All the ancestral things that need to get discarded, thrown away. Not your favorite traditions, not your favorite recipe from your grandma or some ethnic dish that is so meaningful to you or some uh, things that you carry over. No, 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 no. If anything, because I'm, I'm in the United States, I'm aware of how important this is for people to take the good stuff from their ancestors and maybe discard some of the stuff that it's not relevant in a modern world, but we still like stuff. So what is the lifestyle? Okay, let's talk. Let's really get you know, in the nitty gritty about this. This is gonna be addictive things, okay? What is your lifestyle? Are you rewarding yourself with food, with drugs, with alcohol, with cigarettes? I'm gonna tell you this, you're not gonna get very far. Now, this is not to uh, say that you're a terrible person, it's not, okay? What happens is it might've been supported in the old paradigm. Your soul is moving you, that support it's not there anymore. Do it once, yeah. Continue to do it, like continue to chain smoke. Not going to cut it, okay? Relatives, how do they feed you? What do they do? What do they expect of you? How does it affect your health? Is it their style of communicating? Uh-huh, communication. Is it their style of arguing with you? There's a thing I noticed in my family. Somehow we like each other. We spend time with each other. We love each other. We're there for each other. But somehow there seems to be this constant level of tension. It really became noticeable. You know, this was actually fairly recently. It wasn't in the past two weeks in the shadow period. It was like a pre-pre-shadow period. But there it was. And it was hitting me. And I was like, why are we doing this to each other? Why do we do this to each other? Why do we go seek help at like an agency only to find that like our bodies like, okay, they're going to ask this and I'm going to do that. And then they'll say this and I'll say that. That's duality. Fresh start. Okay, we have to start being fresh and new and make ourselves new so that we have new connections and new relationships with this because otherwise your health does get affected. You're hypervigilant or you are in a, you're ramping up your fight or flight system or you have way too much cortisol in your body. And then what do you want to do? You want to eat and binge and drink and be like, the only way to calm this down is by having a few or I can only get through this family function and it's not sober. So I better make sure I got my stuff for that. Nope, 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 nope new beginning fresh start what about your ancestors what if they had to have that they tolerate what if they were the losers in history or for something for some reason you know like cataclysm event i mean we are seeing these things in real time happening where people are on the move because of stuff that is happening with the earth with where they live and it's not all human made it's just stuff that's happening Iceland is having a volcano problem. They can't predict where that's going to blow, you know, blow. I mean, you get this stuff and how do we, you know, how do we do this? Okay. Well, first you start, the very first place you start is your own house, your own well-being. And that is through your light body. Okay. Your physical body holds connections. Some is yours and some is your twins. You each have connections to each other. You're packed inside your twin. They're packed inside you. Isn't that amazing thing? I'm going to say this. The most amazing thing in this entire universe is our return to love and the ability to reconnect. And I mean, I can't think there's so many good things that come as the result of that, as the result of doing this work. Your physical body holds connections. 
some as your twin. This time frame, it is for your side of it. Okay, what is on your side of the street? What is the Mercury retrograde showing you? Okay, and if you don't know, reach out for some help. We do sessions, we do coaching. We are doing a three-part webinar. One other thing. You will receive my book, Twin Flame Journal and Workbook. This is not a, just a journal with blank pages. This is a journal with prompts. So if you're not someone who really likes to write, you know, and like to hold a diary, this is perfect for you. If you're a person who likes to write, go to town. You can write as much as you want about each prompt if you want. There is a, it's also called a workbook because I put you to work. I put you to work in it. Put you, to, okay, did you hear that? Do the work, do the proper work, do the light body work because doing the work is not just, you know, pulling a card for the day. You got to know how to work your body. You have to know how to work your light body. You have to know how to pick up on subtleties. You have to deepen your discernment. You have to deepen your connections with each other. Oh, that's why I teach you about it in here because deepening your connections for each other gets you away from this stuff. Okay. Gets you away, away from, gets you away from the rest of the world. The rest of the world, in some ways, the world's going to go on doing what the world does. I want you to rise above and do what you're here to do, to be who you came here to be, okay? To really be the lovers. You have to approach this as a lover, not just like as a spiritual warrior. You're a lover now, okay? All of that spiritual warfare and, you know, hardness, okay? We have to know when to be strong and when to be soft and receiving, Okay, that's your magnetic side, the strongest, the electric side, which I'm also going to talk about in my webinar. Okay, so join the webinar. The link is below. Inquire if you want. Check out my website at twinflamereconnection.com. I not only do this, I'm also healing something from what you might call lifestyle and relatives. I had a... I had what's called a um, thyroid ablation. This is the remnants of where they made the incision. Uh, there's another bandage under there. It ain't too pretty. Bruising, bruising all through here. Now, the good news is my thyroid is safe. My thyroid was normal. I asked them, what causes this? I have my own theory based on my own guidance and my own it high level intuitions. I do feel it was caused primarily by secondhand smoke. Some other minor things. Now, I never smoked a day in my life, but as a child who grew up in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, and here we are, I'm just going to say this. I breathed a hell of a lot of secondhand smoke that I didn't even want to. The first go around of my body releasing it was very similar to, um, I, I was getting words like emphysema and stuff. Now, God only knows what I did in a past life, because I'm pretty sure I wasn't that great in a past life. Here's the thing about some of this lifestyle stuff. People didn't know how bad it was or unhealthy. People don't know it's not supported, because we all know that person. I know someone too, smokes like a chimney. Uh, we actually have my sister-in-law's uh, dad. He would get struck by lightning and improved his eyesight. Can you believe that? <laughs> Some people are like those cats with nine lives, but that is not the majority of us. And that's not me because I'm a prototyper. And this is why when these things happen, I get guidance on, well, what should I take? Well, my thyroid needs help in order to heal, even though it's not the thyroid, it's the tissues it's part of the connective tissue, the supporting things. That's just one thing. And I document this and I write it down because we're creating something new. We are creating a field of expertise to help people who will go through it that bridges between the metaphysical or what you, I don't even want to call it new age, but the medical and what has been considered metaphysical. There exists a body of knowledge that 
I, for one, have a lot of, and I teach it in my classes. I teach it live. You're welcome to ask questions. I am a people person. I like to answer people's questions. Last time we had someone and she was really in the doldrums. Uh, she was highly depressed. There were several things happening in her life. They had to do with relatives. It had to do with ancestral things because she was recognizing things that were from her mom. And do you know what? She's having some improvement. It is the result of her doing the work, starting with the breath work. Twin flame breath is different. It is not yoga breath. I teach it. It's easy. It's in here and you can learn, okay? Because this is an inherent part of you to be a lover and be loved and be loved beyond this and be loved and supported and just loved. How much needless suffering could we end if several of you were just kissing each other? Wouldn't that be a wonderful thing? So thank you so much for watching. Reach out if you have questions. Check the description below and have a great day. Bye.